Ladies and gentlemen, uh, yesterday I received a package from Kosupa. This is this parcel. Uh, it was, it is already opened by the custom officers. This is the package from three months ago uh, with the old Kosupa machine inverter. And uh, now we make an unboxing today uh, from this machine, which was as I said, delivered yesterday by TNT and it was seriously checked by the custom duties at the airport and uh, this is a different story. Um, what you read here is the German name for custom, Zoll, Z-O-L-L, -L, custom. It seems this is the cable from the remote control. this carefully because I guess the remote control is inside here This is the remote control.
input voltage 10.5 up to 16 volts DC output voltage 230 volts AC output power 3000 watts and output waveform is pure sinus wave seems this is not very tight this is much stronger than this yes because the support here is not very tight on the chassis comparison to that this is tight switched on the light the working light it seems this is the product test report um, electrical function more than 90% rate power, more than 5 minutes. Um, they tested with the multimeter and tested remote switch, the frequency and the output power and They tested the current plus minus 10 percent and the voltage. This is uh, it should be written, this is the output voltage and this is the output current because current is ampere and voltage is volt. Open the socket. Oops. One bolt is left. One bolt is here.
belongs to that. And the bolt of this, the black one, is left. I check the package, the parcel, carefully. Ah, there is some noise. Yes, it is here. Okay, what I'm using now is a battery. This one, an EFB battery from the company of Moll. It is especially for solar and backup devices. It has 120 ampere hours, and with this, I connect the inverter. Okay, it seems we have an electricity voltage on it, current of I guess 12.5 volts. point one seven now we connect the remote control and We switch on the device. It makes noise. We have an
the display shows we have 11.5 11.4 volts So with this switch I'm able to switch the device off and on. The noise gives me the signal that the current should be okay for using 230 volts. In the moment when I'm switching on the device tells me wait a second I have to correct the voltage on the level of 230 you see it here and it is also visible on the remote control That is okay. And uh, now we try to power a small fan for the beginning. You see the fan in the background. Based on the fact that this is a digital device, it needs a pure sinus wave. But much more interesting is to power a dishwasher. So That was the test from the Co Super, the unboxing, not the test. The test will follow. Uh, so far, I am satisfied, um, and we will see what comes as next. Thank you for watching this video, and see you next time.